Good Tuesday morning, Redskin Sports fans. John Cannon coming to you from the Donna High School Athletic Office. We have a couple of firsts today. First off, we have our RedskinSports.us Player of the Week, Justin Pettis, and we have his mother. Ma'am, please give us your name. Robin Rutledge. Robin, all right. Before we talk about you making history, school history, you have officially made RGV Athletes history. You are the first athlete we've interviewed that has had his mom on camera with us during Player of the Week. So, Dominator, which is going to be your new nickname, congratulations. Justin, what a week for you last week. We look at all your medals. We won't talk about the silver one yet. But <laughs> you were the first Redskin boy wrestler to win a district championship in your weight class. When I say that, man, how does it feel to know you're a part of history and you're only a sophomore? I'm proud to uh, have all my hard work pay off and have all the suffering and all the workouts, all the sweat, blood, and tears just to pay off with these, with my name being remembered in Donna High, bleeding, ruin, and gold, and just giving all my work, giving it all, giving it my all. It's just, it, it really gets to me to have my name remembered in Donna High. You said at the district meet it almost seemed too easy for you. Absolutely. Why was that? I like your attitude. We talked a little Absolutely. bit out there, and you've got kind of a cocky edge, which I like. I mean, it's a good, in a good way. So, what was it that made it so easy? Because I didn't let the other person get to me. I, My mindset is that whoever gets in my way, I'm not going to let them stop me. I I plan on taking this all the way to state to the state championship. I, I won't stop. I won't settle for anything less than perfection on the mat. You talked about last year how you were disappointed in yourself that you really didn't have a lot of competition. This year, you face a lot of competition, and the medals prove it. Um, how does it feel this year? Does it make it tougher now for the fact that in your weight class there is competition and now you're actually having to work for achieving everything? I don't, I don't really know because, like I said, I don't really care who they put in front of me. My goal is to just break through them because... I already dominated two wrestling classes, JV 120 and first place varsity 113. So there's a lot of competition out there. But again, I don't let them get in my way. I just run right through them. I got to ask this question, and you're probably going to hate me when I do. You said that silver medal, is you always wear it because it's like it's your inspiration. And it's like you said you were really upset when you got it. I cried. How much did that silver medal fuel you, and what has it done to make you even more fierce as a wrestler. I absolutely hate this medal, but I love it at the same time because it's a huge learning experience. Because throughout the entire year, I've always been getting first place medals, but there's just one second place medal that this kid just absolutely, not destroyed me, but it really opened my eyes that there are kids who have trained a lot harder than me and just pushes me to be greater than them, like practice harder than them, practice faster, better and stronger in any way. The Dominator's heading to Austin. Absolutely. You told me, you know what? I don't care who they put in front of me. I don't care who they put in my way. That you're going for the gold in that one. Absolutely. You know the competition's tough up there, but how hard is it going to be to beat you? It's going to be. It's going to be insane because I want a state jacket. I want a first place state medal. I want a first place regional medal. I want to come back and be the first regional champion. I want to come back and be the first state champion for wrestling. Robin, I'm going to turn this over to you, and you got to keep a straight face on this. To see your little boy, <laughs> did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams when you held him in your arms that he would be a history maker, would be a wrestler, and would have the confidence and the attitude that he has and to be known as, as one of the greats ever in Donna Boy's wrestling history to be a wrestler? Well, I didn't know it was going to be in wrestling, but I knew it would be in something. He will be something one day. Um, he's got the mindset to it. And um, first of all, on top of everything else, he's ADHD and the third of five kids. And he, he just always um, determined, always uh, don't, not usually n n negative. He's like, you know, going. And like right now, he's got to be doing something so he don't just sit back and not do something so 
Yeah, I, I think so. he'll he'll do good. When he was a little boy, was he always real rambunctious? I mean, he, he you can see he's got the attitude, he's got the swag. Was he always like that, even when he was little? Yes. Really? Yes. To know that that your son is is going to regionals and has a possibility of going to state. How proud of a mom are you with what is it? He's only a sophomore. He's got two more years well, of this. He went to regionals last. No, week. I know, but but I mean the fact that he's going in as a favorite mm-hmm. in regionals and could possibly win it and possibly go to state. Definitely. For everything that he's accomplished, I mean, how proud are you as a mom to know that he's overcome tons of obstacles yeah. and it's where he is today and, and it's just, you know, he's made you proud, he's made his family proud, he's made the school proud. I mean, how proud are you of, of everything he's done? Oh, be, beyond proud. Beyond, uh, words don't describe, but I mean, I try to always tell him, do your best. It may not always be perfect. But as long as I knew that you tried your best, I mean, and so the rest is up to him. I mean, I still push him to to practice, do everything, because, I mean, there's always going to be somebody bigger than him that, you know, practice that's going to have drive, too. So, I mean, do your best. You D- don't just take it for granted that, oh, I've got this. Always practice and, you know. Do, do your best. Have you already planned a trip to Austin to go up and watch him wrestle? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Justin? It was just a short notice. <laughs> yeah. How many more medals can we expect before the year's over? Two. Regional, what will they be? Regional gold medal and a state gold medal. I love it. Justin, congratulations, man. You know, I said we were going to make this fun. You know what? Oh, here we go. Let's end it this way. Do you watch professional wrestling? Yes. Who is your favorite wrestler? Uh, it's either John Smith, Austin DeSanto, or Drexel DeSanto. Or Spencer Lee. Okay, so you like the independent wrestlers. You don't like the bigger name wrestlers. Not really. I like uh, college wrestling and some Olympic wrestlers. So you don't watch like WWE or no, that stuff? No, or, no. You're more into... If, if you could... If you had one dream... If you had one dream... In wrestling, if I were to sit here today and say, I'm going to make any wrestling dream come true, what would that dream be and why? I told my coaches and I told my mom, I told my family that I was going to try out wrestling for the Olympics in 2020. So that's my goal, to win an Olympic gold medal. And I'm 18 years old in wow. 2020. Mom, what do you have to say about that when you hear that? I mean, that it could happen. He, he's already overcome so many obstacles. If your son were to make it to the Olympics, I mean, uh, what, what would you think? He asked me if, if I would support him, and of course I would. I mean, whatever whatever it would be, what his desire is to do in life, I would support him. You wanted to send a couple shout-outs, you told me, before we got out this Absolutely. interview. This is your chance right now. Mom, you've done great. Keep it in. We're almost <laughs> wearing the home stretch. So, Justin, <laughs> here's your chance. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it over to you. I'm going to have to give a huge shout-out to my mom for supporting me and loving me and waking up early and taking me to practice and taking me to competitions and... Bring me to school at like four or five in the morning. <laughs> Shout out my grandpa for being a huge athlete in the family. Um, the coaches, grandpa, my grandpa, my grandpa, it's not name. Frank Rutledge. Cut the coaches and the entire team for supporting me, and just the entire team is just a second family to me. The coaches are like second parents; they care about you, and they just want to see you strive for excellence and greatness. You go. The team pushes me and motivates me like I'm one of their brothers. Are you? It, it, does it feel like Friday is just an eternity to get here for you right now? Absolutely. <laughs> I just want it to happen already. I want to go do what I do and win a gold, go to state, get a state jacket with my name, nice big letters, and dominate a state. I'm going to let them know my name. There you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to introduce you to Justin the Donna Dominator, that is. Dustin, Justin, congratulations. We wish you the best of luck, man. I expect you to come home with two gold medals. And when you do, I guarantee you, you don't know this, Mom, I'll put you on the cover of the next magazine. Deal? Yes, sir. Sounds good. Good luck to you, and we're going to keep up. Stay tuned, RedskinSports.us. We'll, we'll be updating you for regionals. Give her a yeah, There you go. We will keep you updated with on Justin and all the rest of the team up there on how they do. Let's support this young man. 
as the dominator is ready to dominate his way to the gold. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see yes, you later. Sir.